everybody. I'm going to go over Ethereum today. So as you can see, we I, even though I don't really like Elliott Wave Theory, I've, I've got a impulse wave, corrective wave. It's where I went long. That's one of the ways to find it. You know, if you, if you see a pattern like this, usually sometimes can work. And I know the corrective wave looks funky, but it worked for me. Um, I can't remember where I sold out, but I sold out up, up, up here. Um, so, so one of the main things I want to cover today is the big upcoming event. So there's going to be an upgrade of Ethereum called Shanghai, where the developer's main goal is to enable staked Ether withdrawals. In my opinion, um, this is because they could technically be classified as a, as a security because of the lockup, because you can't get your staked Ether with, withdrawn right now. And that's one of the criteria definitions, whatever you want to call it, of a, of a security. Um, so they do not want to be regulated by the SEC. They want to be regulated by the CFTC, is what I believe, which is the commodities. So in the short term, you know, it's been chopping ever since the merge, which was September. I don't know why it's... When I go to the monthly, it's September. So September was the merge. It's been chopping ever since then. It's pretty freaky because the apex of this triangle, falling wedge, whatever you want to call it, that's what I see. Every, every chart to see something different, technician. Um, I, I, I think this is bullish. But um, when, so long term, looks like it's ready to eventually rack it up here. Um, shorter term, like looking at the weekly, I, I think it's going to coil up and get tighter as people are kind of deciding whether or not this is um, going to be good or bad. Uh, I, I do know this is called what, what, what's called a hard fork upgrade. So that's because it renders the, what is it, the older version invalid. So this can lead to significant confusion and potential errors. So take that at face value there's going to be something interesting whenever it reaches this point and when this happens i believe it will facilitate more um uh, volume more trading more movement of ether um more interest you know people knowing that they're not going to be stuck in staked ether if it's like tanking you know they can get out um, so I, I think it'll be, ben be beneficial, could even potentially lower gas fees, which over the past year have been trending down, started, you know, 191, now they're down to 27. That's good. Um, so I'm long-term bullish. My Ethereum is staked, so this does affect me. Uh, I'm hoping that it doesn't, I I'm hoping this hard fork upgrade called Shanghai doesn't affect or doesn't result in confusion and errors. Um, so that, that's all for today. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send, shoot me a message. All my links are on my um, bio of my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm, I'm always willing to do any chart requests or due diligence because that's what I like to do. That's what I do. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.